green flag here at Daytona. I have to make a green flag stop the 43 Ryan Ellis. It's going to be a simple stop for him. The main thing they told him is to make sure no other cars were coming in when he got ready to leave so they don't damage that car because they got potential for a good run. And the 36 of Natalie Decker, she was extremely happy when the yellow came out, really pumping up her crew and telling them, great job on the calls. I like those calls. It gave them a shot. It gave them a shot to stay out of the big mess if there was one. It gave them a shot to get their sponsors on TV. They're leading at Daytona. Now, that's pretty cool stuff. Right here in the middle of it with plenty to go. A few other drivers from that lead pack came down pit road as well. Natalie Decker leading seven laps tonight. Congratulations on that. And congratulations as well on the fact she got married in the offseason. Jeff Burton brings out the caution. Married, Randy. Hey, Randy. It's important for young people. Great driver, he's a great spirit. Always fun to be around. And when he wins a race now, you can you can tell he's happy. He's passionate about what he does. He's a dad now too. Congratulations on that. Right. Got enough maps to you. Better get going. Big push in the outside lane for those fours. Have some steam under the hood. Too far out in front of the pack. Yeah, they've broken apart. Yeah, this can work against you to get that far out. Oh, nice job of sliding up, and sliding up, and taking that line. Now, what do we do? Well, we go for it. Riley Herb sliding to the inside. Caution. Like a little side wrap there off of Ryan C. Caution. Debris on track. We've got our eight caution. Uh oh. And we got more than, than debris. Look at this. Knee yeah, stop, cousin. Yeah. I'm sorry, I forgot. Uh, Leland Honeyman. Been a solid day for that Young's Motorsports rookie. But it looks like he's done. And then Gisberg has got damage. More damage. Still rolling, though. Continuing to be. Garrett Smithley. He's been through a lot tonight, and the car shows it. All right, let's go, Jeremy Clemens. He's been through a lot tonight. <laughs> if the shoe fits, right? <laughs> oh, look at that. Looks like Parker Retzloff and Jeremy Clemens were arguing over space. And Honeyman got the worst of the deal. We've seen that a handful of times tonight, where it's just, I mean, we're talking about no more than a foot or so that these guys can cut, cut each other a break and not cause these, but uh, he's had quite a few cautions because of it. Well, if you're going to cut someone a break, uh, you're not doing it anymore. You're just going to race hard. Remember, Austin Hill was back there. Look at that. You know, yeah, we're talking about you know less than six inches. But Rapsloff would not let him have that six inches and was able just to drive through it. <coughs> Let's look into his eyes. That was such a great shot of him earlier when he was out of control. Jip just can't catch a break tonight, can he? He's had a good car. The unfortunate thing. He had gone a lot down. So a caution. She's so famous, they even named the ticket office after her. Let's go meet Juanita Lightning Epson. Hello, it's Michael. I'm here. Everything can start then. That's right, we can go. <laughs> I gotta I gotta ask you a question. Okay. 103 years old. What what is your key? I guess it's the Lord. I go to and from work every day. That is incredible. I don't feel bad. I can hardly wait to get here. What are some of the favorite memories you have from this job? Selling tickets down on the beach and seeing the cars come off of the ocean front onto the pavement. The expression and, and the faces was amazing. You couldn't help but be part of it. What did it feel like when they said, we're going to name the ticket office after you, Lightning? I almost fainted. I felt so honored to think that they cared enough about me to name the office for me. But I've always wondered, and I don't think I've ever asked you, how did you get the nickname Lightning? My husband gave
gave it to me. He said he never knew when or where I'd strike. <laughs> and I struck for 62 years. And then I have just one last question. I, I kind of need a couple of tickets. I heard it sold out. Do you have any in your drawer there? No. Yeah, you were on a tight ship. You have to. <laughs> Well done. That was great. That just warms my heart. She's what a such sweetheart. A, uh, she's, her spirit is amazing. We spent a couple of uh, days together here in Daytona, and I've been visiting her over the ticket office for a few years now. We've become buddies. You're just trying to bug her up to get some tickets for yeah, her to come back. Uh, next year, maybe she could slide me a couple. But uh, I'm guessing no. I uh, know. Uh, she loves her job, and she just loves this racetrack. And look at that sweet lady. A legend. Lightning, 103 years old. Juanita Epton. Still going to work every day. <laughs> so here we are. Hey, inside of 15 laps to go. It's getting good. We're under still working, too. We, we are. We're, we're closing on. There's the Daytona 500 winning in. car. That's the first one and second one. That's going to be. That will go down in history as <clears throat> one of the greatest numbers yep. ever in NASCAR. William just and that car. Jeff Gordon's legacy. And that car right that there, number. they're getting ready to put it in Daytona, USA for a year. Well, Fred, get it.